adventures with Jay. Right, so it's going to be a job through the brambles and the farm trees. Have you? She's found a way in. I wish I didn't put shorts on. Maybe. Ah, we've got steps. Right. The trees are lethal. Yeah, okay. Lesson learned. Right, so this is called, well, I'm not actually sure what this is called, but it's World War II. <sighs> One part of it has collapsed. And the torch has decided it doesn't want to work. Oh wow, it's got a fuck. No way. It's got a stove in the corner. How wide was that getting in there? Are oh, you joking? Right, so this looks. This looks pretty dangerous. So if we just take a short step at a time, I'm just sort of checking it out as to what. Your torch is overheated. It's overheated. Don't know. This is turning out to you got a torch on you? No, I forgot it's in the bra. Oh. You brought it with me, it's just in the bra. Oh, I've got another one. Oh, we are so unorganised. We'll be back shortly. Right, we're back. Uh, got a little bit of a problem with the O-Light, which is unusual. That doesn't normally happen. So this is like a big, gigantic lookout. Uh, and in the centre will be a, um, I'm, I'm presuming it's a machine gun post. Let's get down here and have a look. Wow, flooded. Yeah, unfortunately. It's rusted water, it's not worth the risk, and it's all bed springs. But, yeah, so just over there, folks, in that corner, is the stove. Look at that. Full on stove, World War II. First time I've ever seen a stove, World War II stove. Yeah. It's part of a toilet system, I think. Uh, yeah. Sadly, sadly it's flooded because that should be another at least, well, a few more feet. Can you see from that window really well? Oh yeah, look. There's the stove. Wow, look how old that is. It's got to be 80 years old. A little log burner. For the heating. Don't go too far that way. 
There's three foot of concrete there, about to fall, look. Yeah. Yeah, stay away from that. The ceiling there is collapsing in as well inside that. But that's what it looks like, folks, inside there. This, uh, I think it's a machine gun post, and I guess the, the middle part's the, uh, the living quarters. Yeah, I don't know what they are then. They look like sort of bed springs or something. Some sort of springs. Wow, what a brilliant find. Unbelievable. Unbelievable lucky find. A lot of people must know it's here, otherwise they wouldn't have bothered all that graffiti over it. No. So what's this here then, this chamber? That could be munition storage. Could be. Maybe. And, uh, Yeah, there you go, that's that. One uh, World War II, what I think is a machine gun post. Um, I'm not sure on the details. I don't want to give the location away either. But uh, I would imagine their look they would have been sat on there, a big machine gun down. Sat on top of that. Yeah, I reckon so. Yeah. Right, we're going to head out of here. Um, see if we can... I've got gimbal problems today, folks. Right, so that's us pretty much done with this, uh, this machine gun post. Um, first one I've actually ever seen with a stove in it. Um, Maybe someone will be brave enough one day to, who knows this location, to save the stove and gallery it somewhere, put it in a museum. Uh, fingers crossed, hopefully. Right, we'll see you on our next video. Onwards to our next location. See you later, folks.